welcome everyone last video we have seen how to create a node express server then we have seen how to create a routing now we are going to refactor our code by creating a separate routing definition in the routing.js already we have created routing.js now just click on the routing.js file we have to define a function for each routers so that is get slash and get students and get login so for that i am going to simply create a function get demo so in that it is a callback function for the routing get method so this function going to have two parameters request and response then the definition is the definition is same as this so i am going to cut it here and going to paste here okay now i am going to simply call this function in this server.js for that we have to export this get demo function in the routing.js and we have to import this function in the server.js for exporting we have to export export dot get demo get demo equal to get demo we have to use the keyword exports exports dot get demo equal to get demo the get demo is what we are going to export from where so this is the get demo function so i am going to simply import this in the server.js for that i am going to use const route equal to require in the require we have to specify the path of the routing.js routing.js file is in the root directory where our server.js file is located so that i am going to use dot slash see here we are having the option routing so we can provide routing.js or else we can provide simply routing so whenever we are running this file the node.js compiler will search for the routing.js file okay we can specify routing.js or we can leave it routing alone then we have imported right so now we are going to call that function in the get method so for that i am going to use root dot get demo method so root dot get demo method is added as a callback function in our first get method so i am going to save this file i am going to save this routing.js file now i am going to run our server i am going to stop that server by pressing control c then i am going to run this server by using node space server.js so server is started there is no error so now we have to check whether the given route is working properly or not we are having we are having just we are having the get slash only that is called as our original route go to browser just click enter so this is from server so we are getting the uh, same message which we have got earlier our server is working fine now we are going to change for all the routing methods so for that we are going to write another function function equal to get students get students this is also a callback function for the routing so this function have two parameters main two parameters are request and response okay here we are going to define this right so routing i am going to copy and paste here then going to save this file i am going to delete this i am going to call callback function which is defined in the routing.js for that we have to use object name router route dot get 
because we are we didn't get any options here because we didn't export here so we have to export like this or this export dot get students equal to get students so now we can access in the server.js so now i am going to type route route dot get students we are getting here right okay now save the file save the routing.js file and go to command prompt and stop the server by clicking the control c then node space server.js so server is started our server is working fine i'm going to check with the root slash student as students so we are getting the same message this is students page so we are going to implement this for the function get login for that we have request and response parameters so we we can specify any parameters like a comma b or request comma response or r e q comma r e s whatever it is but first parameter specifying the request second parameter specifying the response so we have to import it right for that export start get login equal to get login now we have to go and refactor here what is that root dot get login so we have refactor our code so that our code looks simple we have to restart our server for that we have to stop and start the server then go to browser click login slash login are not getting right because we have a mistake login so we didn't write any response here so login now save this file and restart the server server is started go to browser it's automatically loaded when we are giving the slash login it displaying the this is login page when we are giving the slash the response from the server is this is from server then if you are specifying the root slash students students we are getting this message now we have refactor our code so like this okay so instead of exporting each and every function like this we can specify simply like export in the function itself for that if you want you can use this method or else you can use the simple method so for that exports dot function name the function get login equal to we have the function assignment here so this assignment is going to have the request and response parameters here i am going to specify the definition for this get login method so simply export it so i am going to delete this export so now we have exported in the function itself function definition itself right see here so after deleting this i am having some error here so because it should be a arrow function so i am specifying arrow function syntax I'm going to save this file i am going to save the server.js now i am going to restart the server now i am going to access try to access the login page i am getting right so in this method also we can define the routing okay we can define our root method so we can specify exports keyword in the function itself we don't want to specify each and every 
function in the last we may miss to export some functions for that we can specify function definition itself like this okay it's easy for you you can follow that now we are going to see about how to pass the values in the url you know that the query string will be like this right we have the students we have students root here we are getting all the student details here if we want to get single student detail we will specify the student id in the say example student id equal to 123 means we can specify slash 123 this root will provide the or this root will responds with the student detail with the id 123 how to get this id in the our server so for that i am going to use app dot get i am going to have the root is student student slash colon id so we in the root we have to specify colon id when we are passing this value 1 2 3 the colon id will be replaced with 1 2 3 so we can access this id in the parameters okay so i am going to call get get students get get student okay so i'm i'm not having definition for this get student we have to create this in the routing.js for that i'm going to use exports dot function name is get student we are getting a student right single student for that i'm going to have a function name as get student equal to second response parameters zero function syntax i'm going to return a value this is student detail then detail of the particular value will be a it is in the parameter in the request parameter so we have request dot params dot id so how we can getting this id by specifying the root itself we are having the id colon id so this colon id will be stored as a parameter in the request okay so i am going to save this file also server.js file just go to the browser i am going to specify the route students slash 123 students slash 123 get student I have to restart the server. I have restarted. Now go to the browser. Here we have to specify the root students slash one two three. If you click enter, we will get this is student detail of one two three. So how we are getting the parameter one two three by using the request dot params dot id. so whatever value we are specifying here so example if you are specifying a name we can access this in the request dot params array like request dot params of name likewise we can access now we have the id by with the id only we will access all the information from the database so we are, we are specifying id okay thank you everyone